now our time in California is done. Let's move it. Let's get on going. That didn't go quite as planned. We are Janelle and Mike. We sold our house to travel full time. After huge health scares, we realized that life is too short not to do what you love, and we love traveling and creating videos. The journey hasn't been easy. People above us having a full-on fight, but we are having an amazing time along the way, and our doodle Kaya is coming with us too. Does anybody else's dog eat their food like this? Today, Kaya's having a rough day. She's having a rough day, man. If you think dogs don't get in moods, you're wrong. Because our dog does. Kaya. Hey, look at me. Kaya, are you ignoring me? Kaya, are you ignoring me? It's okay. Who are you talking to? Oh, God. Who are you talking to? Uh, wish I had something witty to say. Right <laughs> you now. don't. I gotta think of that one better. I'll get back to you. We just checked out of the hotel that we were staying in in Redding, California, which is nice but hot. It's been 95 degrees, and being from Arizona, you would think that would be okay, but like, I don't like hot. Now we're gonna go to Medford, Oregon. So this concludes this leg of our trip in California. And I've seen a whole lot of it. From yes. north to south, east to west, not really. It will be sad to leave California. I've always loved California, but there's also a lot of things about California that I don't like. And we have seen the good and the bad. <laughs> now our time in California is done. Let's move it. Let's, let's get go. on going. Let's go. Let's go. Get some food first. Then let's, let's get some go. food first, cause I need to eat, cause I'm hungry. We don't want. Don't, don't eat. We don't want a hangry. Well, Michael. no. Here's the thing. If I don't eat, then everybody else on the road gets me being angry at them, and like I don't actually get angry at them. I just like calling them names while I. Oh no, around, he so. he he gets out of the car and tries to engage I ch in I a mean, fight. I mean, every now and then I chase some people down, you know, with baseball bats. I hear that's the thing to do now mm. on the TikToks. We found a place along the newer downtown area of Reading called From the Hearth. Mike had a chicken burger and I had a barbecue chicken salad. Mike also had to get one of their giant cronuts for later. Before heading to Oregon, we stopped by the famous Sundial Bridge. The Sundial Bridge is a cantilever spar cable stayed bridge similar to Calatrava's earlier design in Seville, Spain. As the name suggests, the Sundial Bridge is indeed a functioning sundial and it is one of the largest in the world. The bridge's deck is surfaced with translucent structural glass from Quebec, which is illuminated from beneath and glows aquamarine at night. And the dial and the small plaza beneath the support tower are decorated with broken white tile from Spain. The bridge is 213 meters in length and crosses the Sacramento River without touching the water. This design helps protect the salmon spawning grounds beneath the bridge. Now it was time to leave California behind and head north. We had to make a stop in Ashland for dinner and chose Louie's restaurant. It's a big menu. 
It's located along the creek, offering both a dog-friendly and beautiful place to enjoy a meal. Kaya was super excited to have her own meal. How was your dinner? Um, my dinner was very delicious. That place was very nice. You could sit out by the creek, listen to the water rush by, enjoy a meal with your dog and their cup menu. But that was a really good time. A really good time. Is she walking on a bridge? Kaya, good job. You can see, you can see the water below it too. So Janelle is currently wiping off her hands. Uh, she went to go pick up Kaya's poo and it <laughs> did not go well. And uh, I wanted to film it, but uh, she wouldn't let me. So, you know, it is what it is. Before heading to our hotel, we explored the park and beautiful gardens. Dogs are not allowed in the garden or grassy areas in order to keep the many critters safe that call this area home. Soup here, I guess. That somebody left next to the fountain. And of course, we had to end such a beautiful day with an ice cream from a local shop. <laughs> what do we got here? Looks like he got you something, Kaya. What did you get? Uh, chocolate covered peanut butter. Tastes like a Reese's peanut butter cup. And oh, I delicious. got a tart cherry oatmeal, oatmeal cookie. cookie. So, thank you. As we headed out of town, we came across many deer, which you will find most times you pass through Ashland. The deer are protected well in these areas and residents make sure to give them plenty of space to roam. So we are out going to a dog park and nobody is in the dog park so Kaya has it all to herself. She has been inside of a hotel room cooped up so she is going to love this. So anticlimactic. So that didn't go quite as planned, but Kaya did get some running in in the park. Just a couple of minutes after we went into the dog park, a bunch of other dogs showed up, and Kaya's not the most social dog in the world. So we're going to a place that has uh, camper vans because we're not leaving any options off the table at this point. We did look at camper vans one other time back in Arizona, but it was a much different time period for us because we were living in a 4,000 square foot house. Felt very small, but now that we've been living in small hotel rooms, we will see they are not the cheapest thing in the world. So it turns out they were actually closed today, um, but they happened to have their gates open. So the guy, um, let us look around for a couple of minutes and we still have absolutely no idea. <laughs> so uh, I guess we'll revisit this another day.
just a big commitment and it's an expensive one. So we don't know that we're ready for van life. So Michael is trying out his Krona that he got earlier. So, uh... Oh my god. I would say this weighs a good solid... <laughs> Show the side of it. Eight pounds. I mean, this is really heavy. Can you show it next to my hand? It's the size of her hand. Bigger. It's bigger. Kai is interested. I bet it smells really good. It does smell really good. Oh. Mm -hmm. How is it? That is a whole lot of donut. Cronut. <laughs> Something. That was good, though. Look at all those flaky layers. We only have one more day in the Medford area, so we decided to go up to Grant's Pass since Mike's never seen it. We don't have any like specific plans of what we're going to do there, but um, it'll just be nice to go for a little drive since we've been in the hotel working most of the week. Um, tomorrow we head up to Bend, so we are going to probably see Crater Lake and Diamond Lake on the way, so that'll be a beautiful drive. We just got some iced teas from Starbucks. We are not big Starbucks people, but we decided that that sounded good today since it's hot. After driving around the Rogue River area, we came upon a brewery and decided to stop and enjoy the beautiful weather. What did you get? Um, just a few french fries. Wow, that's a lot of french fries. All the french fries. We're going to bend next, but before we do, on the next episode, we give you a full tour of the fun new Margaritaville Hotel in Medford. Thanks for watching. Please take a moment to give this video a thumbs up and press subscribe. So we tried to go to the Sundial Bridge. Oh, you just went through red. I did. Good job. Uh, it wasn't like a red red, it was like a just turned red. It's like orange. Still is inappropriate. It's orange. See you in Margaritaville.